Hello there. Welcome to Vibe Divine. If you are new here, my name is Amira. If you are returning, welcome back. Very thankful for having you. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about the ascension that's happening at an accelerated rate and the symptoms that may come along with ascension. I know that a lot of us are probably feeling it heavy right now in our systems and it's been a quite intense transition as we shed some of these lower densities and lower energies of ourselves from the experiences that we have to morph into more of a light body or light being. So the other day I posted a video about having a dream and in this dream I was very angry with a particular person. And after having this dream I literally woke up out of my sleep immediately and all of these heavy emotions released throughout my entire body. And throughout the entire day, I felt this intense amount of pain, not only in my chest, but also in like mainly every area of my back, my upper back, my lower back, middle parts of my back. And it kind of felt like I had a body cold, even though I didn't. And after having that dream, you know, I immediately was just frustrated. You know, it took me back to that place all over again. And in my self, my Amira self, uh, my persona, which is which is beautiful, um, I wanted to express this part of myself. I wanted to share the authenticity that comes with healing and that it's not always pretty and i wanted to show the human side of myself in experiencing this emotion and allowing it to arise within myself and i i posted the video in that moment in my authenticity and it is definitely you know nothing wrong with that at all but throughout the day, as I begin to really just be with myself and begin to process some of the emotions and pay attention to where the emotions was arising within me, my higher self. So, and of course it always does, it always takes over. When I'm in my persona, myself, the mirror version of me showing up in my human authenticity, my higher self takes over. And Myself made a point to me that while, yes, it's important to be who you are and be authentic through this process and to really acknowledge these feelings within yourself and be honest with yourself, it's also very important to remember the higher perspective. And this is because of where we're going. Uh, if we're giving any noise right now, a car, a very loud car to start, so forgive any noise, but we have to remember where we're going because we're shedding the old and we're transitioning from looking at life from the lens of how we used to look at it. And we're completely transforming ourselves into this newer version of ourselves. So, you know, spirit wants me to remember what the purpose is while I'm sharing in my authentic authenticity it wants me to remember what all of this is for. So I know for myself, like I have to be mindful and I have to continue to be in presence and in oneness with spirit so that I can hear and that I can fully just listen. You know what I'm saying? Because after I go through all those natural human emotions of the anger and the hurt and the pain that I feel, a higher message will emerge from that and I can take that experience and come back into oneness on this path of ascension. Now I say all that to say that as we are beginning to bring literally bring in more light into our cells, into our bodies, 
this requires the body to be able to hold more light and if we are storing old emotions or old feelings or, or, or things that we've pushed down or traumas within the body anger that we've had within the body because of course we know what happens sometimes it's, it's really painful for you to look at it's painful to feel so sometimes we, we may create a coping mechanism to get through it but now that we are beginning to be ready to process these emotions and move into a higher elevated state or version of ourselves these things are going to come up and sometimes it might not necessarily be on your timing or when you expect it to be or sometimes it could be you know when you least expect it and in my cases when i was sleeping you know when i woke up with it but you know these things can translate as blockages in our bodies um energetic blockages of density that held a certain amount of heavy darkness within the body it can translate as lower back pain or upper back pain or heavy chest pains or headaches or dizziness or sh shivers or chills or really intense heat in the body um irritability you know being unable to sleep all kinds of symptoms and i know that some of you have also been experiencing these symptoms as well so you know just know that you're not crazy and you're like what is going on it is temporary and it will pass but i think that the power in this is our awareness to it because in that moment you're given the opportunity to fully heal it and when you're experiencing this intense pains in the body this means that you're healing you know so we can look at it from a perspective of what happened and of course we do have to take ownership for it but after we look at it and we see it and we acknowledge it we then take it into like our bosom and we give it love we we give our direct attention to where the pain is happening into our bodies and we ask it you know why are you feeling this way why are these intense emotions coming up in my field where is this coming from and you might not necessarily need to know an exact answer but just giving it the awareness to where it is in your body and allowing it to fully come up and fully express itself once we do that we can then go in and say okay i see you i love you i acknowledge you i forgive you i forgive that person i forgive myself and i'm ready to let this go then we can actively you know release these energies from our field and send them to the grand central central sun for transmutation so this is what happened to me like i was so sick that day like seriously like I could barely move, I had very low energy, like it felt like a body cold, like I had so much pain in the body, but again, like my higher self took over and I really had to just like sit down and do a light language visualization within my in my field and just really pay attention to the pain and allow the pain to express itself. And then, you know, I, I invited my angels and I put an orb of light around myself and around all this, the cells in my body and I released this energy to the sun and invited more love and light to replace where that darkness was so you know I, I am I am learning through this thing and spirit reminded me of what the purpose of all this all of this is this is so that we can step into this newer version of ourselves step into this new reality step into this elevated energy or path for our lives uh, and operate more from a place of love instead of from a place of fear of what held us down or what kept us in these old traumas and patterns and beliefs about ourselves and the world it is time to let it go it is time to release it it is time to embrace love and invite love and invite life light into our field so that we can hold the light and be the light so i um i had a download and I, of course you know because i've been through a lot spiritually you know i am continuing to and really starting to fully let go of fear when it comes to the idea of the spiritual realm and what some may consider to be paranormal but because of my experiences and, and going through Christianity and that whole belief system of really a lot of fear-based programming, 
into more of a system of allowing and embracing love in this whole experience of spirituality i have been trying to open myself up to the universe to receive and i felt myself fighting it sometimes because of this anxiety that would rise in me of not knowing what would happen or the unknown from being an open vessel to receive um but the spirit gave me a download and reminded me that everything is okay so i'm just going to read that download here and check this thing just want to make sure it was still recording but um here is my journal i have several of them i have several journals and i write a bunch of stuff in them it's like pretty much all the downloads that i've gotten throughout the year whatever but it just has all my thoughts and journaling and things i have to get done and things like that but and sometimes my girls do get to it so it ends up having like random scribbles in it <laughs> you know but um yeah so i want to i want to i want to read what my download was in relation to all of this so you know i'm laying in bed that night like being a little bit like kind of fearful to lay on my back and this is because i've had like sleep paralysis and things like that like i know the scientific reasoning of why that would happen but for me personally in my experience of awakening i've had intense experiences with that in other beings being you know in my room that you know were a manifestation of that fear again um you know just believing in like something coming to come and attack me and things like that so it's like at one point in my life when i was awakening i was creating this christianity from fear so i was kind of like a little bit afraid to lay on my back because of the experiences that i had before but spirit is taking me into this to this new um perspective on it so i'm just going to read this and um forgive me if i you know make a little stumble here and there but because I, I be right and then i be in flow so sometimes my handwriting isn't always like pristine what i got was when i was laying in bed was we're currently doing upgrades to your body right now as you sleep this is why the energies feel more intensified at nighttime. Do not fear. Let go and allow for us to regenerate your cells. Your team of light workers and angels is working on your body because it's very technical in nature. Just like if you were go if you were to go to a doctor for surgery, it is the same way in that your systems are being upgraded and cleansed and you may feel intense heat or what feels like anxiety in your system as your body is being prepared to be crystallized and it is so important to release any fear at this time as we are not here to hurt you and you are safe you have not seen us with your physical eyes as of yet because it is not time but when you are ready we will gently reveal ourselves turn off your tvs at this time as mostly of what you are seeing is a distortion of the truth your guidance system is within and only tune into the information or vibration that heavily resonates to your heart. You are not crazy. And what you are experiencing is more real than any reality you've ever experienced thus far. We understand that you want to sleep. We also want you to be well, but you must understand that the time in which spiritual activity is heightened is usually at night in the early morning hours. And this is a good point because you know sometimes when spirit wakes me up i'm tired so it's like oh this is like not the perfect time you know to get a download and you know this is what they're saying about it however you are still able to receive messages at any time because all is spiritual remember you are the mouthpiece for the physical as we are solely in spirit thus we need you to also work with us as a team to be a messenger and have direct hands in the field some of me some of you may have to get up but rest assured, you will be able to rejuvenate after we have delivered our messages to you. Your body is being crystallized into a lighter form, slowly. That is why it is so important to be mindful of what you're putting in your body. Even if you can't see the physical evidence of your body being crystallized as of yet, it is in its cocooning stage. Did I say that right? Hopefully. Cocooning. Heavier foods tether your body to the physical plane. 
and it takes longer to process through the system, thus slowing down the process of the activation of your light body. Remember, ascension also involves not only ascending into higher planes, but your actual physical body goes through metaphor metamorphosis and takes on a lighter form. This is why the more foods that you eat closer to its natural state, is better as the information and frequencies of the food hold light codes that will assist in the ascension of your body into the crystalline form. Um, let's see here. These include foods that are in the plant family, fruits, veggies, etc., etc. And you know, this isn't to say like um, be hard on yourself because I know we're all at different places, but. Do the best that you can you know what i mean even if it's slowly and gradually you know try to introduce some of these foods you know if it's not all day some parts of the day you know what i mean and just do, do the best you can but whatever you are eating don't do so in guilt you know don't send that energy to your body just do it with love and, you know you'll be okay so it continue the message continues to say you are meeting and merging with this higher version of yourself in a higher plane let go of any doubt and disbelief and trust the process as you do have a direct connection to spirit as your ears have been highly ringing in resonance a high frequency that aligns to the spirit realm your third eye is being cleansed and decalcified and this is why when you close your eyes you may see beautiful images of the universe and the i am seeing the creative mind of the i am as you merge with your i am self you won't need psychedelics because you yourself is being expanded in consciousness everything you see at this time is a direct reflection of you and a message can come from anywhere signs you may see text messages you may get videos you may see on youtube another person you may talk to it's basically you talking to you so pay attention to all the signs and anywhere that they may come from um silence and your attention is very important love is all around you and you are surrounded by a team of angelic supporters. Follow your heart. This is your most authentic self. And align to the right path that is set out for your life. You may notice that the relationships around you are starting to get better. As you are being beginning to resonate and operate more in love. And that is being reflected back to you. Embrace this love as you deserve it. Continue to make dedicated time to meditate and ground yourself as much as possible. Go in nature. And the last thing it says is, um, we love you, your team, your team. And this is, came from uh, my angels and guides. Um, it does say here that you will be greatly rewarded for the work that you're doing. And seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. And lastly, remember to move your body and keep the energy flowing as nothing in the universe is stagnant. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that and, you know, bring this whole concept into full circle of what we're experiencing right now with the ascension symptoms and releasing what no longer serves us. But this message is to share that everything is happening according to plan and for a reason. And it's all happening for the betterment of yourself and the betterment of the collective as a whole. So. Embrace these things when they come up, give them awareness, give them love, and allow love and light to replace them as you let them go. Uh, continue to hang in there. You're going to get through it. And we will meet the better versions of ourselves on the other, other side of all of this. So sending you so much love. Until next time, live in love and light and take care of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Say hi, daddy. Guess who kept mommy up all night? Hi, Daddy. Say hi, Daddy. What you drinking? Huh? What you drinking? Me. Huh? Me. Drinking juice? Me. Say bye-bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy.